Hello student, hi, good evening. So today we are going to discuss about degenerative semiconductor. Okay, so let us see here degenerative, degenerative, generative, degenerative semiconductor, semiconductor. What is this degenerative semiconductor material? See, as you know very well, degenerative semiconductor material that is about doping. What doping? What type of doping we are doing? Okay, so this is my doping about a doping. So let us say, as we know very well, <coughs> how we are doping intrinsic semiconductor material. If you do the normal doping, okay, if we are doing normal doping, normal doping. If we are doing normal doping, in normal doping, see normal doping, donor ion concentration, whether it is acceptor ion concentration or donor ion concentration. Donor ion concentration in case of in case of N type. Okay. In case of N type. In case of N type. N type. In case of N type. N type. In case of N type. Donor ion concentration. If this donor ion concentration is greater than or equal to greater than or equal to density of state in conduction bed, density of state in conduction bed, then that time we can say that the semiconductor is what degenerative type semiconductor material. Okay, semiconductor. So if you degenerative semiconductor, if you see here, if you see here properly, so this is my this is my what? This is my conduction band. This is my conduction band. And this is my valence band. Let's say this is my valence band. Okay. Conduction band and valence band. Here is my intrinsic Fermi energy level. This is my this is my intrinsic Fermi energy level. Intrinsic Fermi energy level. Now and in case of in case of N type, in case of N type, N type, in case of N type, donor ion concentration. Okay, so we are we are adding pentavalent impurity. We are adding what pentavalent impurity. Okay, if we add pentavalent impurity, then this intrinsic Fermi energy level will get shifted. Okay, then the Fermi energy level will get shifted, shift above this intrinsic Fermi energy level. Okay, so this is my Fermi energy level, which will get shift above the above this intrinsic Fermi energy level in case of what donor ion concentration energy okay in case of donor ion concentration if we add pentavalent impurity to the semiconductor then this intrinsic Fermi energy level will get shifted above above the in, this Fermi level will get shifted above the intrinsic Fermi energy level okay so now see we are just what we are just adding pentavalent impurity so up to what level up to what level it should go so that it is remains it remains un what it remains it remains non degenerative semiconductor for that for that you see this this so this is my edge of the conduction band okay so this is my what edge of the conduction band this is my edge of the conduction band okay and and if this fermi energy level if this fermi energy level see see now now see if this Fermi energy level will go up to this, okay, up to this level, okay, and this level is my EF, EF, okay, now EF, this is my Fermi energy level. If this gap, what if this gap, gap between EC minus EF, gap between, gap between EC minus EF, see, EC, EC minus EF, EC minus EF, gap, if EC, if EC minus EF, EF is what is less than is less than 3 kt 3 kt okay 3 kt if this gap is less than 3 kt if this gap is less than 3 kt or here in case of acceptor ion concentration concentration if the Fermi energy level is just above the conduction band eb eb in case of acceptor ion concentration Fermi energy level is just above the valence band and in case of in case of donor ion concentration, Fermi energy level is just below the edge of the conduction band. If this gap, if this gap, 
gap is less than 3 kT in both cases, then, then we can say that this semiconductor is what? Non-degenerating. What? Non-degenerating. Non-degenerating. Yes, then this is my non-degenerative semiconductor. Non-degenerative semiconductor when? When this gap is less than 3 kT. What is this 3 kT? This 3 kT is nothing but it is the difference. It is the difference between the Boltzmann approximation and Fermi direct distribution function. Fermi direct function. Okay, so this is what this 3 kT is nothing but 3 kT indicate what this indicate that the difference between the Boltzmann approximation and Fermi direct distribution, Fermi direct function is about 5%. About 5%. Okay, about 5%. So this is what this if this gap is less than 3 kT, then only we can say that this semiconductor is non-degenerative. Non-degenerative. Once it will exceed, once it will exceed this 3 kT, this 3 kT gap, this 3 kT, then it become degenerative semiconductor. It become degenerative semiconductor. So this is only about degenerative. Degenerative means heavily doped, heavily doped semiconductor material. Where this donor ion concentration and D, if you see. This donor ion concentration and D exceed greater than or equal to NC. Greater than or equal to NC. NC is what density of state in the conduction band. Or either it may be what acceptor ion concentration greater than or equal to NV. NV is what density of state, density of state in valence band. If this donor ion concentration exceed this state or equal to this, equal to this. Density of state either in conduction band and valence band if it is equal to this or if it exceed this density of state function then in that case the semiconductor become degenerative semiconductor. Okay, so ultimately you can say that degenerative semiconductor material these are heavily doped these are heavily doped semiconductor material heavily doped in such a way that this in such a way that the gap between Fermi energy level and edge of the conduction band, if this gap exceed this 3 kT level, then we can say that this semiconductor is a semiconductor is a degenerative type semiconductor. Then in that case, what happened? When this the when this state is achieved, then in that case the donor energy, which is discrete energy level, discrete donor energy level, that will what that will start splitting into splitting into a band of energy splitting into band of energy and that band so this is band band okay this is my discrete energy discrete donor energy band okay so if this if this will this will exceed the state of this what this nd greater than equal to nc then this time this discrete energy discrete donor energy will get split into what split into a band of energy band of discrete energy and it will start overlapping the edge of this conduction band also okay so in that case in that case so this is what condition this is what condition condition is what band gap the difference between ec minus ef should be greater than 3 kt and donor concentration must be greater than or equal to density of state in the conduction band similarly for acceptor ion concentration density of donor acceptor ion concentration must exceed the density of state in the valence band okay so in that case in that case we can see that this semiconductor is a donor energy donor this semiconductor is a degenerative type semiconductor okay so in that case the discrete energy discrete donor energy state or discrete acceptor energy state this will this will split into a band of energy and that band of energy will get what will overlap with this edge of the conduction band or edge of the valence band and in that case we can see that the semiconductor is what semiconductor is degenerative semiconductor it is a heavily doped semiconductor non-degenerative semiconductor when 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 we can say that it is a non-degenerative semiconductor when this ec minus ef gap is what less than 3 kt less than 3 kt what is this 3 kt is nothing but it is the difference between the boltzmann approximation and for me direct function for me direct function they both are 5% to each other 5% to each other so this is all about degenerative semiconductor material okay so this is degenerative semiconductor material okay so we have seen about this how we can do okay up to what stage we can go so that it become degenerative semiconductor material 
okay so that's all about this regenerative semiconductor material okay so thank you very much okay